Okay, yesterday I did a video about Ben Affleck as the new Batman. Um, did, uh, Marvel, Marvel. Warner Brothers announced the fact that um, Ben Affleck is going to be in the new Man of Steel 2 movie alongside Henry Cavill um, as playing as Batman. So it caused a lot of an uproar. I, for one, when I first heard the information, I was like furious. I was like mad. Like, why Ben Affleck? But, kind of woke up this morning, and I sort of see things in a different light now. Now, Christopher Nolan will no longer be any part of the Batman, uh, directing the Batman or the Superman series. Um, he is now departed, and so Warner Brothers are going in a different direction. Which means... Superman and Batman, that sort of franchise, is going into a different sort of light. Batman before was cast as very dark. Nolan uh, casted Batman as a very dark character. That's the way people like to see Batman rather than the Adam West way of things. Now, think about this. Avengers... We had all the superheroes together, made a lot of noise, a hell of a lot of money, and a lot of people liked the movie. So, DC have to respond. So there's been always a talk about this Justice League. So how are you going to do a Justice League? Well, the two main characters in the Justice League are Batman and Superman. So what better way to do a, a movie, a Justice League movie, than by having... Batman and Superman together. So, okay, you have Henry Canville, or Cable, who is relatively unknown as an actor. Okay. So then the guy who's going to come in to this movie, if you have another relatively unknown actor as well, then how would that work out? You know, with Superman, you had Gene Hackman. Uh, Christopher, you had Gene Hackman. You know, um, an excellent actor. So I think, you know, uh, you have, in Superman 2, you had... Christopher Reeve, but you had Terrence Stamp, excellent actor, um, a Zod. Um, so I think in this movie, Superman and Batman, I think really what it is, is an introduction to the Justice League. Because you've got two superheroes, two big name superheroes in the same room. Two, two massive egos in the room. Um, Avengers was good, but I felt, you know... Some of the characters could be expanded on, but if you expand on more of the characters, then what happens is the storyline kind of gets further out, and you've got a longer movie and all the rest of it. So I enjoyed the Avengers, and I look forward to Avengers too. Back to the Man of Steel and Batman and Ben Affleck. So, you have a big name in Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, um, I was quite harsh on him about the whole Daredevil thing. I mean, yeah, that was in, I think, like 2003. And since then, obviously, he's done a great movie in Cargo. A lot of people are talking about it. And obviously, um, he's gone on and directed some great movies, which he has been a part of. One of the things about Ben Affleck is he does not star in movies that he doesn't direct. So, he's Batman. Warner Brothers have him as Batman. Which means that he'll also be directing, wait for it, the Justice League. So... If you've got, like, Henry Cavill, you've got Ben Affleck, then you're going to have to need a Wonder Woman, because Wonder Woman has not hit the big screen. Wonder Woman hasn't been around since the days of Linda Carter. They tried to reboot it in America on the TV series, and that flopped badly. So, are they suggesting that Wonder Woman, as a movie by herself, doesn't work? Or are they saying that Wonder Woman needs to be part of a... a part of a, 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 a... I mean, who would her villains be? And how, how long could that last? So maybe Wonder Woman needs to be part of the Justice League. So then she could get cast in that. But then, who else could you have? You have the Green Lantern. Um, yeah, and how are you going to cast a Green Lantern? Is Green Lantern going to be white or is he going to be black? Um, if you're going to have Green Lantern, the, uh, John Stewart, the, the, the black Green Lantern, then you could have Idris Elba. So then you've got there another big character there so a, a big actor there so those are thoughts so I think it's all about now 
bringing a big name to the screen and someone who'll be prepared to direct the Justice League. And you can't knock uh, Ben Affleck in terms of his producing and his directing. You know, he's getting a, uh, he's getting a lot of uh, accolades. Whether he would be my selection for Batman, again, I ain't so sure. Like I said, I would have preferred Michael Keaton if you're going to have a mature Batman. Maybe, now listen to this, maybe if they had Michael Keaton as Batman, right, in this, in this Superman Batman movie, and then had um, Ben Affleck step in as Batman of the future, now that would work. I could see that working. Because because Batman of the future, if you look at it um, in the cartoons, he's not a, a brooding character. He's more of a futuristic character with loads of gadgets and his Batman can fly and all sorts of other stuff. Far more advanced than the Batman that we know, the old Bruce Wayne and the, you know, very different. And I could see um, him working that way, you know, uh, Ben Affleck. So... Let's wait and see. Ben Affleck as Batman. The only other thing that disturbs me is that they said that this Batman's going to be from a different world, which means it's not Christopher Nolan's world. The only world I can probably think of is that this Batman's going to come from a world, potentially, that already has a Justice League. Yep, maybe in this idea of this world of the Justice League, that Batman is already connected to the Justice League um, some way or the other or hints to being connected to the Justice League and maybe at the end of the movie he says hey there's some people I'd like you to meet and at the end of the movie he's taken Superman's taken to meet the Justice League who knows don't know I'm not the director but if Batman's coming from another world the only potential world I think he could be coming from is from a Justice League world in terms of Batman, what sort of character, what sort of a Batman are we going to get? Are we going to get the Batman that is of the dark character? Are we going to get the Batman more of the Adam West type of character? You know, the light blue bat suit, or are we going to use the really dark character? Is this Batman going to be one that's going to be really violent? Or are we going to get a Batman that's a bit more conservative? So what I'm basically asking is, are we going to get a Batman along the lines of, look, George Clooney and Adam West... Or we're going to go back to the Michael Keaton, Christian Bale Batman. What sort of Batman do you think Ben Affleck is? I'm not being disrespectful of Ben Affleck, but I see Ben Affleck more as the, sorry to say, George Clooney, Adam West type. Although he probably could do a sort of mixture of both. I don't know. I don't know. I think he'd make an excellent Bruce Wayne. I actually think he'd make a decent Bruce Wayne now. I haven't said that. Ben Affleck's an excellent actor and he probably will pull it off. You know, but um, the villains will be key in this movie as well. Whoever is cast as Lex Luthor in this will be very interesting. And if they're bringing back the Joker again, that'll be very interesting too as well. So they're the two people that you, you automatically come to mind with Justice, a Justice League movie. Uh, if it's a Superman, Batman movie, then a crossover. Then, you know, I didn't rate, I didn't think much of um, the Lois Lane in this Superman but having said that, I guess their relationship is just developing. Maybe in the Man of Steel, her relationship would be better with Superman. But who knows? She may fall for Clark. I mean, fall for Bruce Wayne. I mean, in the in the in different realities of comics, there are some where Bruce Wayne marries Lois Lane. There's another reality where I believe where um, I think either Superman or Batman is blamed for the death of Lois Lane. And so that's how the two clash. I don't know which comic that is, but I know that happens as well. So there's all different things that can happen. But I personally think that they want to get a Justice League movie out as soon as possible to cash in because of the Avengers. And obviously the Avengers 2 is coming soon. And Warner Brothers need to respond. So that's where I'm at with things. Okay, Ben Affleck's on board. There's nothing I can do or anybody else can do to, to stop that from happening. He's on board. Let's support the man. And good luck, Ben. Um, I hope that you bring out a Batman that is is uh, relative to the character. And I'm sure that you'll direct a great movie. That's all I've got to say about it. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I'm out. <laughs>